BAM! What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, The Hoxton Trend. Guys, what I'm going to do is show you all the mass drum stuff that are coming. Um, if you saw the weekly buys video I did last week, I, I bought a whole bunch of mass drum stuff. Mass drum stuff. Um, and I said I was going to get some in. And the reason why I've done that is because it's been seven months ago, man. Seven months ago since I did the last mass drum. Um, videos and I've done those videos on you guys recommendation when I first started YouTube all up nearly a year ago now well over a year ago now and a lot of you after I was doing all the reviews I started doing Stone Island, uh, Montclair and all that stuff a lot of you came back and said um, Hoxton why don't you get some mass drumming I've never had the brand in before and I said you know what let me get some of this mass drumming let's see what it's saying so guys what's happened is it's actually dropped Bam, look at the size of this box, man. Absolutely massive. Got the box in there. Got four different items, two jackets, two jumpers. So we're going to have a look at those and see what they're saying. But I think what we're going to do is this session, we're only going to look at the jacket and next session we'll look at the jumpers. So super chuffed, looking forward to those reviews. And some of the other things I've got to show you as well is I had some trainers drop in. So I got these. Got these on the Nike website, man. They went down to something like 56 quid or... Nah, what am I talking about? These went down to something like 45. I had a 20% discount from Nike.com, plus they were on sale. I got these for something like 46, 45 quid. Absolutely ridiculous. We love these. If you see me on Snapchat and on the, um, Instagram, I got these in the black and yellow, and now I've got them in the black and blue. I've got in the Nike Tech Knit top as well, so that's coming as well. This one, I've got the top in the side large, so I'm going to do a full review of that. That's basically the Nike Tech top. But it's the knit version, guys. So I'm looking forward to doing a review of that. And I've also got the Air Max um, Superflies as well. Got the Air Max Superflies in. If you followed me on Instagram, you would have seen all of this stuff. No, actually, I'll put this up on Snapchat. If you followed me on Snapchat, you would have seen all of this stuff come in. And I'll put it on there to show you guys. That's it there, right there. Bam, look at that. Nike Superfly um, Air Max trainers. The 95s. 95s? What am I talking about? That's the 90s, yo. Yeah, Air Max 90s, super fly. Super cool. So I got those in and I'm going to be doing a review for you guys of all of that stuff. So that's that. That's going to be coming probably next week, guys. Also, on Thursday, I'm in Copenhagen for two days. So I'm going to be out there, I'm going to be chilling out, getting up to a few bits and bobs. So I'm going to be doing a street tours Copenhagen. That's coming real soon, okay? So, guys, that's it, man. I think we're just going to get on with this um, unboxing and this review. Let's see what everything's saying, okay? Bam! Let me just prep myself up. Okay, chaps, as per usual, I've set myself up. I've got everything on the bed. Big old box here we got from Marstrom. Remember, I ordered all this stuff directly from the Marstrom website and it came really, really quickly. Very, very cool. It got here in about two or three days, man, so it wasn't too bad. So super chuffed about that. As I said, it's been seven months since I got Marstrom in. Bam! A lot of you lot have been asking me where Mr. Hacksaw's been. He's been about, but he's back in today. He just flew in just to do this Hacksaw unboxing, so he's super chuffed. So you know what? Let's get this show on the road, y'all. Let's get this show on the road. Easy. The Hacksaw ain't playing out here. He's been doing his thing. Got himself a gym membership. Been pumping weights. Doing all types of mischief. Get in. Have it. Tell he hasn't been doing this in a while, yo. Hold up all this stuff right here. That's it. Yeah. That's all the stuff right here. Got one jacket there. This one's called the Clipper. Now it's an overshirt. What am I talking about? Clipper cargo overshirt. Packable sniper jacket in vibrant blue. What's this? Shoe collar zip proof fleece sweat. Tongue twister on that. Marstrom. This jacket looks ill, man. I forgot the name of it though. What's the name of this jacket? Where's the receipt? It's called the. There it is. Downfield Snow Parker, that one. Oil slick. This one looked really cool, so I'm really chuffed to have a look. So yeah, man, I thought we'll just go through this stuff. I thought we'll just have a look at the old Marstrom and see what he's saying. Every time I'm wearing a new jacket, you guys are always asking me what I'm wearing, so bam, let me just show you real quick. I've got this um, 
Oh man, this is one of my favourite Montclair jackets right there. I had it in a black, in a yeah, I had it in a black back in the day, but I sold it. I was so upset when I sold it. I said the next time I get one in, I'm never gonna sell it. And lo and behold, I managed to get source another one. So I'm super chuffed about it, man. One of my favourite jackets, this one. But I'm gonna be doing an ind individual review on this, so you lot can see it in more detail. But it's called the Montclair. Le Blonde guys, Montclair Le Blonde, it's got Lana Wall going all the way through on the back around it through there as you can see and on the front pocket it's one of my favourite jackets, special guest, guest appearance but yeah, I'm going to do a review on that soon so hold tight for that one guys, hold tight so I'm going to look at these two and I'll save the other two for another Marstrom video okay so yeah man, let me just sort this bed out, get everything set up okay, in a bit Okay man, so this is it, just unpacked everything and the first thing I want to look at is this jacket right here because it just looks absolutely amazing, really love the look of this jacket man, so cool um, and I keep saying this but the last time I got the Marstrom stuff in I was so impressed with the quality of the jacket, I just thought it was really nice and so yeah, it's good to come back in uh, next, you know, come back from seven months ago and look at this season and see what different stuff they've got going, man. I would always want to keep an eye on this brand and see what they're doing because I really do like them, man. I think they're very cool. And for the prices, I mean, fair dues. This one is 550 right here, this jacket, but this is like from one of their, um, it's like, the, it's, it's a part of their collection which is a little bit more limited. I don't think it's one of their normal jackets that they do. So this one's a little bit special. So this one was on at 550. Agreed, this one is definitely um, very um, much more expensive than, than their normal stuff, but I just like the look of this one, man. I think it's really nice. So we're going to have a look at that in a second. The other one I picked up with this one was here. This, this one's a bit more of a um, spring summer jacket. It's very light. Um, and this one's meant to be a bit of a fold away jacket as well. So you can kind of pack this up really, really tightly. You're meant to be able to fold it in a certain way and pack it up really tightly so that you can carry out. So it's a bit like an emergency jacket, I guess. But yeah, it can still be worn as a normal jacket. But yeah, it's also designed so you can pack it away. So I think what we're going to do is look at the blue one first. Put that one there to one side. Let's have a look at this one and see what it's saying. So guys, this one is actually called the Packable Sniper Jacket. Um, and feeling it, it's very, very thin, man. Very, very thin jacket. This one is definitely something which is just meant to be a lightweight piece. It's almost coming across like it's one of these type of emergency jackets. And uh, Montclair do a jacket like that as, as well. I've got the name of it, but Montclair, I, I had a couple of Montclair jackets which you, which you could just pack away into a little kind of bag and it was almost acting like a bit of an emergency jacket, so this one feels like that as well. Um, when I was looking at the website, I was looking at the information on this, and it has some type of foil material on the inside of the jacket here. It's backed with foil, and that is to keep the heat in. So although the jacket is really, really light, it does have this material at the back here, which keeps in all the heat and keeps you very well insulated. This is part of Marstrom's very own technology, man. Marstrom are very similar to Stone Island, and the reason why I say that is because the founder of um, Stone Island, his son is the founder of uh, Marstrom, along with another guy called Don Rand. Donrad Duncan. So yeah, the other guy's name is Lorenzo Osti. His dad was Massimo Osti, and Massimo Osti um, founded Stone Island. So basically, whilst Massimo Osti was building Stone Island and working with brands like CP Company, um, Massimo Osti was collecting lots and lots of materials. He was collecting lots of um, army garments all over the world, and they had a they had an archive called the Massimo Osti archive, which basically had thousands and thousands of materials that the guy was collecting. Massimo Osti was collecting throughout his lifetime. So, while um, Lorenzo Osti and Donrad Duncan were uh, making um, Marstrom, they had a lot of access to the archive of all this clothing and a lot of the technology, a lot of the knowledge, a lot of the information, everything like that they used to put into making the brand Marstrom, which is why I say this they're quite similar. So yeah, th there's definitely a link and a correlation between Marstrom and brands like Stone Island and CP Company, no doubt about that. Uh, I, I I remember the um, last Marstrom that I even reviewed, it even had said Massimo Osti Archive inside the jackets, that's how you know. But yeah, let's have a look at it in more detail anyway, man. Let's waffle. So as we can see there, they're using the YKK zips, which is really cool, that's really nice to see. This, this jacket is on at um, 200, sorry. This one is on at 230. This one, um, it's a little bit expensive, but I, I, I like it, man. I really like it. I know it's lightweight. 
it, it does feel really thin though. I mean, it's, it almost feels like one of those jackets where if I was to walk past something sharp, this would tear. It just looks like it would pull or tear quite easily, I'm sorry to say, man. But um, yeah, this one, you probably just have to be careful with it. Make sure you're not running around, running past any nails or something like that, as you do on a Saturday or Friday night, going out to the pub or something like that. I know how you lot get down. Um, just notice as well, they've got lots of detail in there on the back of the pupper stud, so they've even got Marstrom there, which is nice to see. Jacket is hooded, and they've used some different material inside there. They've used like a kind of net material as well, so that's going to keep you well protected. Mark the Marstrom emblem there on the button stud. If we unpop that, we'll see there that they've got some detail on the back. Have they used different materials on the inside? No, they haven't, but no big deal, that's fine. Just want to see what this um, this one is made from. 100% polyamide, so it's um, similar to the uh, Montclair stuff. Montclair's made from polyamide as well. A lot and lots of other jackets are. Um, they've got some pull strings there on the hood, so you can pull that if you want to make that tighter. I really like that actually, because it's quite elastic there, so you can pull that and make that tighter if you want, so that's quite cool. Um, got some pockets on the front. Usually the Marstrom, they have something, the um, they have the emblem on the badge, but this one doesn't have it, so. But that's cool, they've still got the Marstrom emblem there, and that's been, um, that's been sewn into the jacket there, as you can quite clearly see, so that's a cool touch. Camera's not focusing properly today. So yeah, man, nothing to report on this one, man. It's just a nice, lightweight jacket. It's on at 230, it's a little bit probably expensive for 230, but... Again, I like my strong because they're not too expensive. If you look at a lot of their other jackets, the price points are quite decent. They're usually under 250 and for the amount of detail and attention that they put into the jackets, I appreciate that, man. There's a lot of brands selling for a lot more who are doing a lot less than what Marstrom are doing. Just looking inside the pocket there, and I can see they've used different materials in there. Again, they've used that foil back-in material on the inside there, so that's all good to see. So that's it, man. You'll see me trying this on on the side. Um, let me know your thoughts, let me know what you think of this one guys. They've even got a little hidden compartment there man for all of you guys that are trying to smuggle stuff. Maybe you're trying to smuggle a pint in somewhere or something else. So yeah, this one is going to keep you well, um, it's going to keep you well looked after. Look at this man. Right, so that's it. That's, that's, that is the, uh, got it. So not only can you use that as a pocket, but... By right, if I turn this inside out, right, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. Bam, look at that, wicked emergency jacket, yo, look at that. You can just stick that in your car, stick that in your bag, stick that somewhere. And if you need an emergency jacket, you just whip this out and be like, yeah, man, I just got a spare Marstrom on me just in case there's any beef, so it's all good. So that's that one, man, really feeling that jacket, man. I like the way it just packed up like that. I even like the way it looks as a little bag, got a little cool zip there, so it's all blessed. So yeah, man, that's that one, man. Pack away sniper jacket, that one's on at 230. Not too bad at all. Would be better if it was 190 though, but yeah, 230 is still not bad. So this is the one I'm really looking forward to trying, guys. Really looking forward to having a look at this and see what it's saying. Jeez! This one looks like a nice piece. I really like the look of this one, man. I, I must say the weight of the jacket is a really nice, thick weight. There's nothing light about that. You can even see there we've got the, the snap guard that they were saying, um, that they were mentioning. And if you've seen some of the reviews I've done on Montclair Grenoble, they do exactly the same thing on that. And that's to stop the um, air. Um, cold air traveling upwards or when you're skiing or anything like that the snow will help it stop getting up from under the jacket like that so that's that um, look at the detail on the inside of this jacket so nice this one I just wanted to see if it said Osti Archive on there because sometimes the jackets say Osti Archive um, I'm just looking here you can actually remove that if you wanted to so if you didn't want this feature here you can take it off but I quite like it man so if it was me I'd keep it on Look at that, they've got a merino wool mouth guard on there as well. So look at that, whilst you're wearing that, that will keep your face well protected. Look at the, 
the detail that's going into this jacket, man. Seriously, all of you guys that love CP company, I know you love wearing goggles at any time of the day. So you've even got a PUV um, goggle guard there on your face so you can put that down and protect yourself. Look at that, man. That is just, that is just mental. Feeling the hood, the hood feels down insulated. It feels like there's down in there. That feels quite thick. Oh man, this jacket is so nice. So, so nice. Really, really cool. Yeah. Material feels nice. Got epaulets there with the, uh, got the epaulets on the shoulders. Can see it's got the Marstrom there. And look at that, we've got the uh, Marstrom Logan there on the slogan there on the side, which is really, the emblem, which is really cool there. That is so nice. Yeah, really rate my strum, man. I'm, even the, just the feel and the point of the jacket, it just feels so nice. Now, I'm just feeling something down here because they said there was something in here. I can feel it's like some type of heavy. Here, there's some little bar in here, man. Look, I don't know if you can see, but look, there's a little bar in there. Let's see what that's about. Um, put the hands in there. Oh my gosh, look at this. My strum, man. Look, they've even got a little light thing in there. This is for... If you're um, skiing or you're in uh, doing snow sports or whatever, you can just open this up right there. Ha! <laughs> Only Marstrom, man. You put that in there and that will light up. I wish I could do it to show you guys. How do you open this, man? I think I need to put some batteries in there, y'all. You put that in there. Look at it. Spam! Look at that, guys. And now, basically, as you're walking around, you've got a little light guard there as well, so the light can shine whilst you're walking around, whilst you're skiing, if it's a bit late or whatever. That will keep you um, being able to see, I guess. Yeah. Nice touch, that one. Only guys like Marstrom do, do stuff like that, man. Real utility jacket, this one. Very, very nice. Um, just going to see what zips that they're using here. Again... They're using the big boy YKK Vizlon as they should be, so you'd be putting that up and down 50 million times and this ain't gonna... I mean, look at that, I'm just flicking it, man. It just runs up and down that zip track so easily. Very, very reliable YKK. More and more brands should use YKK or they should use Lampo. Simple as that. Um, they've got a little pull string cord to the waist here. I love pulling these because this will keep it nice and tapered. I like the jackets to be tapered at the waist so you can pull that in to do that. That's really nice. Look at that man, the tag is so nice. That feels lovely, feels beautiful. Look at those tags. I mean, personally, for the effort that they put in the jacket, these should be selling for a lot more. These should be selling for a lot more. I mean, okay, this one 550, I think that's reasonably priced. But you'll get a lot of other brands who won't put the same effort that Marstrom put in and they'll be selling for more than Marstrom. And this is why I like Marstrom because I think they're quite reasonable for what they do. And I'm telling you, man, the material on this feels lovely and thick. Love it. Got a little pen pocket there so you can put your pens or your bits and bobs in there. So that's nice. Got a pocket up in here which you can just open up. Nice big pocket. Put all your bits and bobs in there, man. Maybe whilst you're skiing, you might want to put a pint in there and just slip it in there whilst you're skiing. So whilst you're going down the slope, you can take a few swigs of that whilst you're skiing. All blessed. Look, another pocket up in here. Look at this, man. Bloody hell, what have got in here? Jacket is just crazy, man. There's just pockets and gadgets after gadgets after pockets. Look at this. Eye gear, look at that. Bloody hell, man. Too much stuff going on in here. If you open this up, look at that. Open this up. Got some next compartment in there. You got another world in there. Look at this. Put your glasses in there, put your mobile phone in there. Jeez. If I go in there, I bet there's another world of pockets. <laughs> oh, mate, I love it, man. I love it. So cool. Wicked. Big respect to Marstrom, man, for doing stuff like this. It's just such a shame because for me, they're not really as recognised as they as they should be, man. This should be what a big boy brand, in my opinion. This should be a brand that a lot of people should be, you know, should run around in uh, in the same way that people do Stone Island, in the same way people do Montclair. But Marstrom is still a bit underground, man. Not too many people know about it. But whew, just look at this jacket. Just look at this. I think it's beautiful. I think it's amazing. So yeah, man. You guys, if you don't know about Marstrom, do check them out. They do tend to go on sale quite a lot, so you can wait around and look for stuff on sale. Um, but I do just recommend just going onto their website and just browsing and having a look and seeing what they're saying, okay? 
Wicked, so cool, man, so cool. So, guys, that's it. That's it for the re um, review for the minute. I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, you see me trying all, all the stuff on the side. I'd really love to get your feedback and opinions on this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think these jackets are nice. Okay, that's it for the minute. I'm not going to waffle on for too much longer. I'm going to head out. I've got tons of stuff to do. So I'm going to catch you lot in a bit. Tons more reviews coming. I've still got the other two mask drums, so they'll be coming this week. Okay, guys, that's it for the minute, man. I'm going to catch you lot in a bit. Peace out.